Returning to Formula 1 in 2010 as a works team, Mercedes have become one of the most successful teams in recent history, taking home both drivers and constructors championships in each of the last seven seasons. Prior to that, Mercedes were engine supplier for the Brackley-based 2009 constructors champions Braun GP. This was their way back into Formula 1 as their parent company Daimler purchased a stake in the team for the 2010 season. The team was then rebranded to Mercedes and have raced under that world-famous German mark ever since, creating history along the way. Red Bull made their constructors debut in Formula 1 in 2005. Since then, they have become incredibly successful, with four drivers' championships and four constructors' championships to their name. For 11 seasons, the Red Bull team used Renault engines in their cars, but switched to Honda power units for the start of the 2019 season. Honda also supplied the power plant for the other Red Bull-owned team in Formula 1, Alpha Tauri. Synonymous with the sport, McLaren have been heavily involved in Formula 1 since their debut in 1966 at Monaco. In this time, they have had incredible success, bringing home 8 Constructors' Championships and 12 Drivers' Championships, making them the second most successful team of all time. For many, 1988 was probably the most memorable season for McLaren, where the team won 15 out of 16 races with drivers Ayrton Senna and Alain Prost. The team absolutely dominated that year, and to this day, McLaren still holds the record for the highest percentage of wins in a single season. They have had many of the world's most highly regarded drivers racing for them, including Senna and Prost, Mika Hakkinen and Lewis Hamilton, who won the Drivers' Championship during the 2008 season. Aston Martin are not entirely new to the Formula 1 scene, with an original foray over 50 years ago which lasted just five races. However, the rebranding of what was Racing Point is a serious step forward after the team's fourth place success after a tight 2020 battle with McLaren for third place. With former world champion Sebastian Vettel on board and young talent Lance Stroll alongside, the future is bright for a team that goes back as far as Jordan and not too recently was nearly lost to administration. But thanks to former driver Sergio Perez and the new owner Lawrence Stroll, the team has gone from strength to strength and it's no secret that they aim for the top of the ladder. Rebranded from the Renault team that has seen two consecutive fifth place finishes in 2019 and 2020 and a fourth place finish in 2018, Alpine may be a new name to Formula One but this famous sports car brand has plenty of motorsport heritage. With the team's first podium finishes since taking over as Renault from Lotus in 2016 last season, and with a promising young talent in Esteban Ocon alongside former world champion Fernando Alonso for the 2021 season, the team are primed for future success. Perhaps the most famous Formula 1 racing team of them all, Scuderia Ferrari, have been competing in the sport since the birth of the Formula 1 World Championship in 1950. As well as having participated in every World Championship season, they are also the most decorated, with more wins and world titles than any other team in the history of the sport. Founded by Enzo Ferrari in 1929, Scuderia Ferrari originally supported Alfa Romeo before, starting from 1947, forging their own identity as the racing team and road car manufacturer we know today. Nine of the world's most famous and recognisable drivers have competed and become champions with Ferrari, including Niki Lauda in the 70s and Michael Schumacher in the 90s and early 2000s. The Red Bull-owned Alfa Tauri team was originally formed in 2006 under the name Scuderia Toro Rosso, with the intention of helping Red Bull's junior drivers, giving them the potential path into the parent team, Red Bull Racing. This allowed the Red Bull team to have four drivers racing during the same season. Since 2010, they have worked independently with their own car being designed and built in Faenza, Italy. 
In 2020, the team achieved only their second win at Monza, courtesy of Pierre Gasly, with the first win and only pole position coming again from the 2008 Italian Grand Prix in Monza with young superstar Sebastian Vettel in the driving seat. Alfa Romeo Racing Orlen, operated by Sauber Motorsport, have a long and varied history in motorsport, competing in various disciplines since the 1970s. But it wasn't until 1993 that they began their Formula One campaign. They have partnered with multiple engine manufacturers throughout their time in the sport, including both Ford and Ferrari. But the best results they achieved were between 2006 and 2009, where they worked with BMW, achieving second place and third place in the Constructors' Championship in 2007 and 2008, respectively. 2018 saw them bring back the iconic brand Alfa Romeo to Formula One as their title sponsor, a partnership that was extended in 2019. Orlen joined the team as co-title sponsor in 2020. Debuting in 2016, the USA-based Haas team began strongly in the midfield, with Frenchman Roman Grosjean bringing his car across the finishing line in sixth place in the team's very first race in the 2016 Australian Grand Prix. Since then, the Haas outfit have been regular points finishers. Ferrari supply the power units and transmission to Haas as part of a technical partnership, which has helped the team maintain their cost-effective and sustainable operation. And with a new, young but promising lineup, the team are planning forward for the future of Formula One. Debuting in 1977, Williams are one of the most famous and well-recognized teams in motorsport. They started out as a very small single-car team in the 70s and made their way to a position of absolute dominance through part of the 1990s. In that time, Williams have had some of the most famous and accomplished drivers of all time in the driver's seat, including Nigel Mansell, Damon Hill, Jensen Button and, of course, the late great Ayrton Senna. Williams have partnered with multiple engine manufacturers over the years, with the most successful by far being Renault in the 1990s, with who they would win multiple championships. In total, Williams have had a long and very successful history in the sport, with over 100 Formula One race wins to their name. Based in Le Mans, France, near the legendary circuit on which they have competed, Driar Associés Motorsport, or DAMS, were founded in 1988. DAMS have had a rich history in motorsport, with many accolades from various racing disciplines, including Formula E, A1GP and Formula 3000. DAMS entered GP2 in 2005 and won the drivers' titles in 2011, 2012 and 2014. Since 2017, they have competed in Formula 2 and won the team's championship in 2019. Competing in various forms of single-seater open-wheel racing, the Norfolk-based team have been involved in motorsport since 2012. Later competing in GP2, which later became Formula 2, the team took over the running of Russian time at the end of the 2018 season. Founded in 1996, the team that would become ART, known at the time as ASM and owned by Frédéric Vasseur, finished in the top three in its debut race in the 1997 French Formula 3 Championship. In early 2005, Vasseur and Nicolas Todd teamed up to build upon the legacy of the team and created ART Grand Prix. The goal was to expand the operations to compete in the newly formed GP2 series, which would act as support events for the Formula 1 Grand Prix in Europe. Since the formation of the FIA Formula 2 Championship in 2017, George Russell and Nick de Vries have both become serious champions in ART machinery. Carlin are one of the largest teams outside Formula 1, with multiple championship titles. Some of today's most successful drivers have passed through the doors of Carlin, 
including races in Formula One, IndyCar, Formula E and endurance racing. Based in Farnham, Surrey, they entered Formula Two in 2018 and took the team's championship in their debut season, courtesy of Sergio Setta Camera and Lando Norris. Set up by former Formula One driver Adrian Campos, the Campos team has been racing in various forms of motorsport for over 20 years. They currently compete in Formula 2 and Formula 3, with notable results coming courtesy of Jack Aitken, who achieved three wins in the 2019 season. The best finish for Campos in the team's championship came with victory at the 2008 GP2 series, with Lucas Degrassi taking third in the drivers' championship. Charouz entered Formula 2 for the first time in 2018, bringing with them many years of racing experience and championship wins. The team was founded in 1985 and are based in Prague in the Czech Republic. As well as their competitive racing, they are also known off the track for their association with the Ferrari Driver Academy, helping young drivers to realise their full potential. Over the years, Charouz have been involved in rally, endurance and various forms of open wheel racing. MP Motorsport is one of the biggest racing teams in Europe. Created in 1995, the Netherlands-based squad has been involved in many different disciplines, including GP2 and GP3 series, before entering Formula 2 in 2017, where they took 6th place in the championship and 8th place the following year. HWA AG is an independent 360-degree engineering specialist in the field of automobile racing and high-performance cars. The company's objective is to develop the best possible high-quality solutions in order to get its partners and customers to their destination quicker. The portfolio of services ranges from designing all vehicle components to assembling complete cars together with the relevant logistics, after-sales and support services. HWA Race Lab is HWA AG's operations team in motorsport. It brings together experienced specialists in high quality race engineering and the associated services in pursuit of success on the motorsport scene. Since 2019, HWA Race Lab contests the FIA Formula 3 Championship and in 2020 the FIA Formula 2 Championship as well. Prema Racing was founded in 1983 by Angelo Rossin and Giorgio Piccolo. In 1994, the team began to expand its activities at an international level, and since then it's become one of Europe's leading international racing teams. Ever since its inception, it has favoured the inclusion of young drivers, focusing on developing their talents and skills in order to help them reach the highest echelons of the sport. Based in Piedmont, Italy, Trident debuted in 2006 in the GP2 series. Throughout the seasons, they proved to be a force to be reckoned with, adding wins, podiums and pole positions to their records. They also entered the GP3 series in 2010 with great success. In 2017, they joined the Formula 2 grid. Hitech Grand Prix, based at Silverstone in the UK, were founded in 2002, the year before they began competition in their first season of British Formula 3. They finished top of the F3 Asian Championship two years in a row, as well as winning the F3 Asian Winter Series. They are known for providing race operations, including engineers and pit crew, to all cars in the inaugural W Series in 2019. And in January 2020, the team announced that it would compete for the first time in the FIA Formula 2 Championship. 